Hey, welcome back. In this video, we are learning what is the probability that an individual activity will finish early, late, or during some time interval. So uh, it's very similar to the last video where we we did the same thing, but for the whole project, we discovered whether you know what the probability of the project finishing early or late was. Uh, now we're just going to focus in on one activity here. So let's look at what is the probability that activity G finishes in less than three days. So we know that activity G's expected duration is four days. We can see that here from the, the network diagram. Uh, its standard deviation is 0 0.67, 0 0.67. And in this case, we're looking at the probability that it finishes in less than three days. So for this case, X will be three. All right, so all we have to do is we just plug in our values into the Z-score equation, and we'll use the Z-score to find the probability that this will happen. So we have Z is equal to X minus mu, so we have three minus four, all over 0 0.67. All right, you just punch that in your calculator, and you will be getting a value that is negative 1.49, just like that. All right, so then what we do is we take the z-score. We want to find out what is the probability of this z-score. So we have to go to the z-score table for that. Um, let's put in some arrows. All right, uh, so we go to the z-score table. Again, you can find it in any statistics book or just Google image searches z-score tables. You'll come up with a ton of tables, so I just found one down here. Uh, we are looking for the probability of the z-score for negative 1.49. So if you remember from the last video what we do, we find negative 1.4 and then 0.9. So if you combine these, we would get negative 1.49, which is the z-score that we have. And you see where these meet up. And we get the probability uh, is giving us here is 0 0.0681. So first of all, let's write that down. So 0 0.0681. But what does that mean? We need to make sure that we're actually getting the right value here. Well, that's saying the z-score tables always give you the, the probability of landing in the shaded area. So if you consider this central uh, part of the bell curve here as our mean, uh, our mean was 4, and x we were using was 3, so let's even label that. We have mu and x. So given that mu and that x, we have this uh, this standard, well, that's the standard normal curve, but we're translating it to be our just a normal curve, because now it's centered at 4 instead of 0. So there we go, just like that. Uh, all right, so what this is saying is this is the probability that we'll land in the shaded area. Uh, and that's the probability, that's six, 0 0.6, so that's a 6.81%. You just multiply that by 100%. Uh, so we have a 6.81% chance of landing in the shaded area down here. Uh, and that is the area that is less than three. So that includes two and a half days and two days and one day and so on. Uh, so if that's what we're looking for in our question, the probability that activity finishes in less than three days, then yeah, that's exactly what we're looking for. So uh, then we can say that our probability that is just... 6.81% chance that this activity uh, finishes in less than three days. All right, so now let's look at the alternative. Let's say, what if it's more than one day late? So we have our z-score again. Uh, we're not, our x won't be one here. This is more than one day late. So we knowing that our, our expected duration is four, uh, then this would mean our x would actually be five in this case, right? It would be four plus five. Okay, so we have five minus four over 0.67. All right, so five minus four over 0 0.67, that's just going to give us the same, but positive. So that'll be 1.49. All right, so now we need to look up the probability of this z-score and figure out what that even means to us. So we come down here, we're not even the negative z's anymore, so we need the positive. So we have to locate 1.4, which looks like it's right here, 1.4, 0, 9, combine those, you get positive 1.49, and then we see where they intersect, and it's giving us this value here. So first of all, let's write that down. Uh, that is 0 0.9319, 9319. Okay, so again, let's just figure out what's even going on here. We're not using the standard normal curve, we're using the just a normal curve, so it's not actually centered at zero. Uh, what the mean will be, in our case, is four. That's our expected duration for this activity. X, in our case, uh, we've said this is five, and that's also you're seeing it's one day longer, right? More than one day late. Uh, so this is actually returning this z-score. The probability of the z-score returns ever the possibility of landing in the shaded area. So what it's saying, uh, if you multiply this by 100%, there's a 93.19% chance uh, that the project will finish in less than five days. 
but we need uh, we need the probability that it will finish in more than five days. Uh, so what we do is we have to subtract one minus this. So we have one minus zero point nine. 319. And the reason we do that because the 100% of the possibilities lie under the curve. Uh, so you can also think of that in terms of unity or one. So if uh, the whole area under the curve is one, then the shaded area would be uh, 0 0.9319 or 93. Uh, so we're looking at uh, this area here actually, which would be blue. So it's just 100% minus 93% or one minus 0 0.93, however you want to look at it. Uh, and when you subtract that, you'll actually see that you get 6.81%. And that's interesting because if you come up here, that's what we also got for the probability of being less than three days. Uh, it's the same as being more than, than one day, like more than five days. And that's because they're both one day away uh, by looking here. Uh, three is one day less than four, and five is one day more than five. So you're actually seeing that, yeah, the, the probability of being more than one day late is 6.81%, and the probability of being less than one day early, or like more than one day early, I suppose, is also the same. So that brings up the question is, then what is the probability that we land between three and five days in duration for this activity? Well, let's draw ourselves a little, uh, little belt curve here. So it's not as good as the ones in the diagrams right below, but it gets the, it'll get the point across. All right. So... Let's label this. We have here, uh, let's actually clean that up a little bit. Perfect. All right. So here is our mean. This is four. Uh, and then we're saying over here was five and down here was three. So we know that the probability, and again, these just trail off, you know, for a very long, very long time. All right. So the area under this is 100% of the possibility or it's just one. Uh, so what we need to do is we already know that the probability of being less than 3 is 6.81%, or if we were saying that 1, it's just 0 0.0681. All right. Uh, now the probability of being more than 5, so landing in this region, we also we just calculated that, so that's 6.81%. And that's also, uh, if we're considering the area under the curve to be 1, then this would be 0 0.0681. So now all we have to do to calculate, uh, to calculate the, the area here that's, that's not shaded, that's white, well, you just go 1 minus uh, the shaded areas. So we have 1 minus 0 0.0681 minus 0 0.0681 to subtract this area and to subtract this area. And uh, if you do that calculation, you'll actually see that you get uh, 0 0.86, 0 0.8638, 0 0.8638, uh, and that equals multiplying by 100%, 0, uh, 86.38 percent chance of landing in this white area. So that's what that's a uh, that's a pretty good chance actually. Um, so you can confidently say that uh, you have an 86 percent chance of being uh, between three days and five days in duration for this activity.